says it is recording. Um, um, this, I still don't have a good set of speakers on this computer. So I would prefer things be done in the chat box because the speaker I am using, which is my own personal one, um, that I got when I was in Vegas last January, Coca-Cola one, it does not have, does not get real well. So I would prefer, it is showing that it's picking up my voice here. Um, Chadwick, can you hear me? Okay. Um, actually, that sounds like Okay, I've got two Ashleys in here now. Can you hear me now on one of those? Can you hear me at this point, Ashley? Because I'm holding off getting started while you straighten your technical bug out. Can you hear me at this point, Ashley? All right, so um, you should be in chapter, well, I just looked at the wrong chapters, I think. Look back at calendar, actually I'm inclined to think. I think I know what y'all are on this week, but thought I knew and then I just realized I didn't. All right, so y'all are on three and four this week. We did one and two last week, which is due tonight. Um, with three and four, getting into VLANs and discussing them, um, which are virtual local area networks. And so they go through showing you how to do those and have you do them. Um, and on routing between the networks. So, so trying to figure all this out because we haven't used, I have used WebEx before for some other stuff and conducted some meetings for the school, but not from going through the Blackboard and on it. Um, actually, I haven't seen any place of allowing it access to your speaker. Because there is one for turning the microphone on and off. 
um, the um, not seen on that. You may not have your speaker turned on. Their sound um, would be my only other guess on it. All right. Um, so um, something is not Now, let's see this. There's something about a voice conference here that is muted on Ashway, but not muted on you. Um, let's see. All right, Ashway, can you hear me now? Because I just turned your microphone on. And it actually shows voice conference activated. Now, where it's a picture of a headphone. So I don't know you of, can you hear me at this point? All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, mouse falls off my brain for some reason. Does that ever soften for some peculiar reason? No, I don't know why. Um, okay, have y'all got any questions on the chapters from last week or the chapters coming up on this week for me to start with. Because y'all have actually done some stuff, but now you're going to do with VLANs before. So this isn't the first time you've seen a VLAN, but as far as doing them um, in the multi-switched environment, to explain some deeper with them. Um, that's what you're doing this week. Uh, now, last week was first week. Um, this class went pretty smoothly, but should have because most because y'all have all been in stuff before. There was a couple of them. There's a couple of students that are taking it this semester, 2453, um, that have not taken Cisco from me before. So I had to, I've had to give them a little bit of assistance on things. Um, but the rest of you I uh, really didn't hear from, and I haven't looked at what's been turned in because I don't grade things until after the due date. Um, the only ex the big exception to that is last week's um, no-show assignment, which I've got to enter those grades in just a little bit. Um, so those I graded as they came on in, um, but like what was due tonight, I won't grade it until tomorrow. I just post it in Blackboard that tomorrow morning I will not be on campus. I'll actually be at the Whitfield Murray campus taking the CompTIA Data Plus certification test. That's a new certification from CompTIA. It's only been out just over a year. I took training on it last year. Um, and that I've got a voucher from the training I went through. They gave me a voucher to take it, which had a year on it. Um, and tomorrow's the expiration date, so I have to take it tomorrow morning. I knew it was coming up soon, and then at the end of last week, I realized looked at it and went, whoa. And then when I went to a place to take it of our campuses, and this was middle of last week, that none of only 
um, Whitfield Murray gave me a chance to take it by tomorrow, and that tomorrow morning was my only choice. So um, I will be doing that in the morning. They have they allow me 265 minutes to do it in, which is basically two and a half hours, um, a little over two and a half hours. Um, and normally I'm done in half the time or whatever. So I will see how I do on that. I'm going off of what I knew from the training a year ago. And as we went through it, that I was going, that it wasn't new stuff coming at me. So I'll see how I do. Um, it's not something I need in terms of the job. GNTC is not requiring me to do any certifications and they don't pay me for any certifications. So, um, and it's not something I need for someplace else. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. Okay. Um, and so, um, that's going on there. While y'all were out, actually back in March, when I went to North Carolina for the conference, I got two certiport certifications, one in networking and one in cybersecurity. They said at that time, but I never could find any evidence on it. They just say it in person that I was going to be eligible for this new Cisco computer support technician cybersecurity um, certification if I passed their cybersecurity. Well, about a week or two ago, I got an email from Cisco and Certiport telling me that was true and that if you take their test by next June, not this coming June, June 24, that um, actually if you take either test, that you qualify for both certifications. I did the, they say they're supposed to automatically do it after this, but right now they're still getting the bugs worked out. So I had to go in and request they give me the certification. Um, so last week I did that when they wrote and told me. So now I am also Cisco Computer Service Technician Cybersecurity Certified. The networking one did not, because um, actually what's going on for this first year is that Certiport and Cisco are using the, exactly the same exam. It's not a difficult exam at all. The networking one is not either. The um, networking one amazed me that it did not have anything about the OSI model or TCP IP model on it. Um, I don't know about the Cisco cert Certified Computer Service Technician, and I think I'm getting that name exactly right. Exam, what's on it, because I have not taken it. And if I do, I'll have to pay for it, and it's $125. Um, at that conference, I was able to do those Certiport ones for free. A lot of computer conferences you can take certain exams for free, which I always take advantage of. Um, so um, I definitely encourage y'all to look at that. I put a thing in, I think, general discussion or it's in announcements about that certification, the cybersecurity one, and about the price difference between Certiport and Cisco. And while they're just identically the same and they're giving it both directions, I would recommend taking it from Certiport. Certiport charges actually $2 less for the exam, I believe it was. I think they charge $2 more for it, but you get a free retake. Um, but there, I've got all the details about that written up, either in general discussion or announcements. I did that last week and I don't remember. Um, so those are there. Last week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I attended a Google seminar in Atlanta. It wasn't what I was really expecting. They said it was data and AI artificial intelligence and the artificial intelligence I was definitely interested in, in learning some more about. Um, 
I went to the conference both days. Actually, on Tuesday, I got there just before lunchtime. Um, and they were going over just some basic data things um, and setting things out there and going through their short order courses, which I've actually already been through. Um, so I really didn't miss anything. Um, Google and my Tom Tom both could not get me to the MARTA station in Sandy Springs or North Springs outside of Atlanta. Tom Tom took me to someplace totally different, six miles away. Google, which I went to at that point then, it took me by the station on my Georgia 400, but and told me I was there. And I did see the station sitting over there on the right, but I'm on a limited access road. Actually, I was on the ramp as I was going by it, and I'm going, I can't get to it from here. Um, and twice it did that. The third time I managed to, I got back on 400, headed south, and discovered the only the way to get to it was from this exit going south. There's apparently a side street too, but Google never would get me to that point. So by the time I got on the train, it was, and I had left home at 6.30 that morning to get there by 9 o'clock, that it was like 11.30 by the time I got to downtown. Atlanta, um, and they had told me, come on. To Wednesday, they did talk about artificial intelligence, but not what I was expecting. They didn't talk about where you can get it to do all these different things. They looked at it purely that day in terms of being able to use it as a way to organize your documents that you have stored online, and that it picking up keywords out of your documents. It's not what they were showing us that day. I really do not view as artificial intelligence. Um, it wasn't using any artificial intelligent engine. Um, you were actually writing or generating the code um, from a code generator um, to be able to look for these certain words and index the stuff on it. I've written programs in the past to do the similar thing. Um, so I was rather disappointed on that. What wasn't really neat that day was right after lunch, they gave us a tour of the Google offices and they just moved into this new building there in downtown Atlanta and they have floors 20 through 31, if I remember right, and they still haven't finished out the top two floors on it. We were on floor 24, so I'm pretty sure it was 20 through 31 in this office building there, which is right across the street from the North Side Medical Center. Um, and it's right down there, right across the interstate from Georgia Tech. It's actually, um, and the CN, the, um, TBS big building over there in front of Georgia Tech that we were looking out the window city at. Um, but they gave us a tour through, showed us the different things they had in their um, neat welcome center. They've been in Atlanta. They have a little big, I said, a little big logo thing for a saying since 2001 at their previous place, which they've kept in this one. They've got a lot of neat different things they've done in terms of setting up the rooms and trying to have a local interest to it. Being Google and a high tech thing, it was interesting. The foods that they had, a couple of cafeteria and a snack bar area, um, which were pushing good food um, and good drinks. They hid the Coke, so you had to, when you looked in the refrigerator, which was a glass door thing. You didn't see the Coke. She saw the sparkling water and juices. The Cokes were behind the frosted glass. Um, likewise, on the countertop, they had the nuts and other stuff out there. And then if you opened up the drawers underneath, you could get your potato chips and that type of stuff. Um, their hot food cafeteria had a lot of good stuff in it and was neatly set up. And then they had a 
rec room, which was actually attached to where we were at, um, the room we were meeting in, and that they could go play ping pong, pool, play um, video games on this big screen, a couple big screen monitors, etc., all in there. Um, so neatly set up. They fed us um, that, that food service that's in there, cooking all that other stuff cooked for us also and it was good food that we had chicken and something each day we had um salmon the second day um and it was all tasty and good that they had for us so second day i made it all day on it but that made two really long days for me because first day i left home at 6 30 and got home about eight o'clock the second day it went a little bit longer down there we went a little past four o'clock and so getting back on marta and everything took a little longer and traffic was a little worse um so i left that day at 5 30 and i got there ahead of time that day because i knew where i was going but i left earlier just to make sure and couldn't get home until well, I would have been home at nine o'clock, but I stopped by Micro Center and did some shopping while I was down there too, which I didn't count as part of my work. But so um, in July, I am going to Texas or I'm scheduled to, assuming school approves it and stuff, to a seminar out there for all week that will be on artificial intelligence. And I think I'll learn more of the stuff I want to learn out there. I go each year out there for training it's actually pretty much free for the school and me that the school um, has to pay. Like, well, they would have had to pay shuttle service for me to and from the airport both ends. But um, I'm going to combine it with another trip and I'm driving out there and then I'll be driving back. And out there, they will pay my mileage out there in my motel and but they don't pay my suppers if i remember right so it won't cost the school hardly anything for it um and so um i'm going to use that to hopefully get that information so the last week of july um i will be attending not the last week the it's actually the last week of y'all semester I will be attending out there because I'll actually be out there starting July the 10th that week. Um, so been some interesting things going on. I've got several other things going on right now too. Um, hopefully we can move on through. Now, have you got any questions for me today? Um, either one of you, and I just don't know if Chadwick can hear me or not at this point. You know, been in and out six, six. trying to get it working. Okay. Or Chadwick's actually been working. Ashley's doing it's not been working, so I don't know if Ashley it. And speaker does not very well work on me. I could hear that there was something just then. It sounded like said, but I could not hear what it was said. Um, because again, I've got just this little tiny speaker that has no control on volume on it, and I've got everything turned up, and it doesn't hardly hardly comes through. And then to top it off, my ears. Since January, one of my ears has been acting up and it's better now, but still not fully open yet. So y'all are gonna need to use chat window. Um, I'm not sure where I got that thing plugged in yet. I have to go look in the other room and see if there's a set of speakers again, but don't think so. I don't think I could find any speakers around here. The other week. Any questions for me today? Because if there's not, then um, next week, 
we will meet on Tuesday, not Monday, because Monday is holidays, Memorial Day, and the school is closed. And then actually two weeks after that, we will again meet on Monday, on Tuesday, I mean, because Monday will be a holiday again. Um, you can all actually have a third holiday during this eight week semester, but it falls on Tuesday, so it won't affect these. And that is July the 4th. <sighs> all right, if there's not any other questions, I am going to go ahead and stop the recording, but I'll tell you to all have a good week and see you all next Tuesday. Have a safe and good Memorial Day holiday. Oops, that's not the button I meant to read. click. Um, there's the button I meant to click. But now I'll stop the recording.